Hey everyone, Hayden here from the Pop Culture Gamers Podcast. Just here uh, today to do a quick unboxing and fitting to show how easy it is of uh, the Sabrent uh, Rocket 4 Plus NVMe with PS5 heatsink. So I was looking at this, um, at the heatsinks for um, PS5 recently, looking at the drives, couldn't get the Western Digital Black that I wanted um, and thought, what one do I do? How do I know which one fits in? This is a really great solution because this heatsink here actually replaces the um, cover that is on the PS5. So it's an all-in-one sort of thing. So if we look at what's in the package, <clears throat> as it comes, just a block of nothing. This is the heatsink. Uh, that fits in your PS5 and this is obviously the SSD card so just very carefully opening up the boxes get rid of all of the plastic Here is the uh, SSD card comes in, little instruction manual, little ditty there, um, unlock the speed and there is the actual drive itself. These are really, really super easy to fit. I've not fit one yet, but um, <clears throat> I have seen how easy they are to be done online. In terms of the heatsink, Open it up. So, as I've mentioned before, this heatsink <clears throat> actually replaces what was there. There is actually even step by step uh, instructions uh, on this as well, which shows you what to do. Really dead straightforward. Here is the actual heatsink itself. It's obviously got some therm um, some padding there, which is thermal, which we need to put, peel that off later on. And the great thing I like about this is it actually comes with a screwdriver that you need in order to be able to do the operation. Plus the fact that these vents here, they're all sort of curved to go with the fan so that it'll draw heat over, uh, sorry, cold air over, over the... Um, For the heat sink from the fan okay so first off so the first thing we need to do is actually get the playstation just before i show you how to install the actual heat sink and ssd card what i thought i would do is just show you that my own playstation it's the basic model that you uh, normally get on a PS5. If you go to settings and storage, you can actually see here, I've got a USB hard drive, but it's got the measly um, sort of hard drive that it, the PS5 comes with. My USB extended storage is completely just full of PS4 games, uh, but there's only 880 gigabytes on the console's actual storage itself. So just come back out and then what we need to do is just completely shut down the PlayStation so it also close off the hard drive as well otherwise you'll get um, the hard drive has failed sort of error and it will say that it's not being shut down properly so just go through the normal process that you would to shut down the machine and then remove all of the extra cables the power cable etc etc so that you can actually install the SSD card. Okay, so here's my PlayStation 5. What we need to do is turn this upside down and then we lift up and push down in this corner. 
is quite tricky. There we go, it does eventually go. You just need to give it a little bit of um, force there, but not too much. Obviously, if you are doing this, you do so at your own risk. So this is the bay that we need to get to. Take the screw out. Don't forget to hold on to this. You won't need it if you're using this particular model, but nevertheless. So what we need to do here is obviously the depth of this one here is, whoops, wrong way around, the full 80. So we undo this. screw obviously you've taken the little thing here I need to put that back in there like so take the drive then it up push it in press it down put the screw back in Screw it down. We take this new heat plate, the lovely peel that everybody always loves to do. That's nice and firm in there. This then goes down like so. Screw this in. That's it. It's done. The trickiest part now is getting this back on. There we go. Once you hear the click, it's done. So I'll put this back in and it will go over and we'll see about initializing the drive. So the PlayStation's now on and it's just going to boot up and then we go to the first screen which will recognise the fact that there is the new M2 drive in there. So to use the M2 SSD what you need to do is format it and when you format the M2 SSD all of the data that's already on it will be deleted. If you want to continue without using it on your PS5 uh, without formatting you need to remove it from the device obviously you're not going to be doing that and know that any data screenshots and video clips can't be uh, saved into the SSD storage. So when you're ready, all that you need to do is just go over to format M2 SSD and select that. Once it's actually completed, it's then going to tell you that the read speeds for the M2 SSD Ah, so this one's uh, 65, uh, 37 megabytes uh, per second, which is not too bad at all. And then your SSD has been formatted and you can now go to settings and storage and installation location to change where you want things to go. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go into the storage settings on my PlayStation once it's booted up. And then from there, what I'm going to do is move a couple of games over. So I'll do this in real time so you can actually see how quick 
these things really are. Bearing in mind how long it would have taken you to transfer games uh, before. But as you can see anyway now, um, my SSD is there. Everything's all hunky-dory. It's working. There's plenty of storage. So what we're going to do is just select a couple of games. Um, I won't be able to select for Horizon Forbidden West because it's still being installed. Um, however, what I will do is I'll probably select Assassin's Creed Valhalla because that's a 66 gig and then 68 gig for the Uncharted Thieves Legacy of Thieves collection. And I'll move those to the SSD storage and let's see how quick that is. So as you can see, that is tremendously quick, especially in comparison to normal hard drives or even just moving something from the SSD to a hard drive or vice versa. But now the games are installed on there. Just a quick check. And as you can see, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Uncharted are both on there. So now what we'll do is go back to the main PlayStation homepage and start Uncharted collection here. And I'll let you guys enjoy a little bit of footage from the game. And as you will be able to see, there's no difference at all to it being on the normal internal hard drive or SSD, I should say. Okay, so hope you've enjoyed it. Enjoy the clip of the gameplay and we'll see you again next time. Bye. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. All right. I found it. All right. How's it look? 
That's beat up, but intact. What do we got here? All right, I can see the cargo. It's like most of the crates are here. Can you get an accurate count? I'm gonna have to go inside for that. Stand by. All right, here we go. <laughs> There. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> Morning, fellas. All right, I'm in. Well, looks like a lot of it's still strapped down. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, by my count, we're shy two crates. I'm gonna go round them up. Hold on. How about you come up first, get a fresh tank? Ah, the crate's gotta be nearby. I got this. Ha! <laughs> Found one. Crap. The crate's pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what, secure the other crate first, then we'll lift the trailer up for you. Uh, you see, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. Ha! <laughs> Found the other crate. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. All right, see you soon. <clears throat> this thing's getting heavy. Remember, only thing I want to recover from that riverbed is that trailer. That's one crate secure. Good timing. We're right above you. Sling's on its way down. Coming down. Okay, it's in position. Look up the trailer. We'll raise it up a bit for you. Okay, got the cable. Gonna try looping it around one of the axles. That should work. Yeah. All right, that's one. All right, you watch your oxygen now. That's fine. That's two. Okay, trailer secure, ready to go. All right, get clear, we'll lift it up. Ready when you are. And up we go. Okay, that enough? Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> Promises. Okay, we got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. All cargo present and accounted for. Yeah, with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? <laughs> I'd love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. Okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. Oh, better now than I'm out of that river. I'm gonna stink like fish for a week. <laughs> All right. We're gonna come to you. Hang on. Hang on. 
What's up, boys? <laughs> 